All right, guys, we're ready for step number seven of the QRC cart build. Uh, it's time to put the cage on. So Brandon, what do we got to do to be able to do that? All right, so to begin, we'll simply have two half inch wrenches and two seven sixteenths wrenches for tools. We'll have our two rear cage receivers and our two front cage receivers, as well as the hardware for the cage and then our four cage springs. So basically to begin, you know, we're here at QRC. I have this frame drilling fixture, so I'm able to use that. But to explain it, our holes here are bottom to center, you know, about one inch um, on all four posts of the cage. So, you know, roughly drill your hole there. And then back of the frame, we are, you know, inch and five eighths to the back center. So uh, it's a step we skipped because that's what we have here, but uh, go ahead and put the cage on right now. All right, we're ready to put the rear cage receivers on. So okay. pretty simple process here. Each receiver in our hardware. Very simple step here, kind of, there's no left, right receiver, just front back, but that's very apparent. Bolts, washers, nuts, two half inch wrenches. And then we'll go, some people get nervous about how tight to tighten them, but basically just give yourself enough so that the receiver has play and allows movement in the cage. So a little left to right in the bolt, and then again, check the front to back. And if somebody's watching this that has no idea what an outlaw card is, kind of explain what we're doing here. The, obviously, the bottom, you know, the, the, the chassis and the cage are not one piece. So there's no suspension with these things, right. you know? Yeah, this, this keeps flex and rigidity out of the car by having a floating cage. Um, you know, and then your suspension's technically in the cage and how it moves and then tires, how they bounce. So um, pretty simple, you know, so... Uh, next step, we'll take the front receivers and we'll put them on and then we'll stand them up as best we can. And the result to put on the cage, we have our full cage space. Now these are the seven eighths or the inch? I forget these which. are the inch cage springs for an open car and we use the seven eighths ones for a box stock. Just drop them right in. Drop them right in, one spring. Slot. And that's Receiver. basically the suspension on these cars. That's all there is right there. Yep. And then next we will place the cage into the receivers. All right. All right, guys, we're starting to look like a race car. We've got the cage on there. All we did was simply just drop it right into the cage receivers. And now there's a couple more things we got to do before we can uh, let her go. Yeah, all that's left is uh, our inch and three quarter uh, bolts. So those should be found in your cage bolt kit, I believe. And then two seven sixteenths wrenches. And we'll just explain direction and how they go and about how tight you can expect to tighten them. So run the bolt through. Tighten it out. And we won't go we won't go tight to the receiver here. But we'll go enough so that there's some shake in the bolt. Not too much and then that we allow the cage to shake and we'll do the same thing times the four corners. Perfect. All right, so we've got the cage on there. We've got all the bolts in there. Uh, Brandon, kind of take us around here and tell us what this thing should be looking like. Obviously, we don't want to, you know, tighten this thing up too much and get it bound up. So kind of show us what we should be expecting when yeah, we put this on. Pretty simple procedure there. We take our four receivers. We uh, put them in place on the car as well as drop the cage on with uh, our four cage springs in the middle. But now we see in the back that we're totally secured by this 5 16 bolt and our cage is totally secured by this quarter inch bolt as well as the front too. So our front nerf bars will keep keep the front from going anywhere here in the next step. But um, biggest thing, remember these cars are supposed to shake. So keep that keep that looseness in this cage, and uh, that's the biggest biggest precaution when looking at this step. All right, guys, that's step number seven. Get ready for step number eight.